what I've got here is five liters of water. I'm just gonna pour that into this. Every test that I do is going to use the same amount of water from the same tap, giving us the same temperature. And the temperature of this water is 11 degrees. Everything is gonna be done on a 10 minute time limit. This is a 12 volt, 300 watt heating element. And this is purely just for reference to see how much energy we are getting out of this. So here we go, we're gonna start the clock. Um, I'll stop the video and uh, we'll come back in 10 minutes time. Okay, so we are exactly 10 minutes into the test and the temperature is sitting at 19 degrees. So the 12 volt, 300 watt heating element that obviously draws a lot of battery power has given an increase of eight degrees in 10 minutes, which you know what, isn't bad. Now obviously this isn't waste energy. I'm just gonna see how this performs in comparison to the, to the exhaust pipe circulation. Obviously this is very inefficient here. A lot of heat's gonna be wasted, but I just wanna see how this goes. So here we go, I'm just gonna turn it on. So here's the basic idea. I'm gonna wrap the copper pipe um, around the exhaust um, and I'm gonna run some tests to see which copper pipe is more efficient. Now I've got 10 mil, we also have eight mil. However, I have very cheap brake line, uh, which is copper accessible from any um, car store, Halfords, Euro car parts, your local car parts store. Um, and this bends very nicely. Okay, so I'm just gonna jump in right here for a second. Uh, the 10 mil copper pipe was no good. Uh, it can actually, bend around the small diameter of the exhaust pipe and it was creating kinks um, therefore slowing down the flow of water um, the 8 mil pipe pretty much the same and why would we not just use the easily accessible very very cheap brake pipe so with that being said let's get on with the video right so with that we're going to carry on with the test i'm going to put another five liters of cold water in um, at 11 degrees I'm going to use this pump for the test just to make sure that um, the flow is exactly the same on all the tests. So with that, let's heat this up. Please excuse the noise for this experiment. Um, we are now up to temperature with the diesel heater. So what we've got here is the pickup from the motor into the 11 degrees five litres of water. It's then going to run around to the bottom of the exhaust, run around the pipework, come back out, and this at the top of here will simply drain back into the tub of water again. So after five minutes of uh, running constantly, we are getting 28 degrees from the outlet, and that's a constant flow. Okay, so while the test is still running, um, I'm just gonna explain what my next method is. I'm gonna rig up this. Now, if you look down here, you'll see there's loads of the same length, 25 feet of copper pipe, all wrapped up inside this, which I'm going to put on the external side of the heat blower. So this is where the heat comes out exactly. So we're gonna run that alone. So you still get hot air coming out of this. However, this would actually be inside the cab or inside the actual van itself. So it would be easier to get that water back into some kind of pot. So there you have it. After 10 minutes, we have a temperature of 23 degrees and 30 degrees coming from the outlet. I'm now just gonna switch this all around uh, and get new water. So 
there we have it, we're 11 degrees. This is plumbed in just to the air outlet um, and we are going to run 10 minutes from now. And we are now exactly at 10 minutes. And as you can see here, we are at 28 degrees. So that is an increase of 17 degrees in 10 minutes, just using this system. There is a place called Bobble, Bobble Vans, B-O-B-I-L. Uh, um, they do a heat exchanger, obviously it costs money, um, and it's more efficient than this, but I don't know how more efficient because I haven't tested one. Um, and this is purely just an experiment to see uh, whether this would be able to keep up with the demands that I need. So now what I'm going to do is rig this up so the pump goes through uh, the air outlet. It's then going to run down through the exhaust system and then back in and we'll run exactly the same test again. 11 degrees of water, um, 5 litres, 10 minutes and we'll see what those results are. We are now getting a constant flow of 51 degrees from the outlet and um, that now is hot, 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 I mean it's, it's steaming. Right there we are, that is 10 minutes up. I'm now just going to turn this off so I don't have to shout. So. What we can gather from this is, um, with the five liters of water that we had, we had a um, 20 degree raise in temperature through this system, the exhaust and the outlet, which I'm sure if you just wrapped more around the exhaust, um, you'd get the same effect. Um, so we got a 20 degree raise in temperature in 10 minutes. So you would get to 40 degrees in 20 minutes under five liters. The best way to actually use this system um, is to have say a 20 liter um, water container and keep circulating that either overnight or even in the morning. So what this boils down to is if you had this set for an hour and a half in the morning just to take the chill off the air, um, you would also gain hot 20 litres of water. You're okay, this uses a little tiny bit of electricity just to keep that fan going. If you found this video helpful, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. I'll be doing a review of this air heater just on its own um, and uh, going through on the um, new LCD display. This is the new version, which has got some different features to the, the older ones. Just runs so much more efficient. This exhaust I've actually had pumping around in this shed and hardly smells of diesel at all. It's, it's really good. So if you want to see a, a review on this, uh, just click the subscribe button. That will be coming up in a few weeks time. And if I've already made it, it's up there. And also I am running a test on a device that will give us hopefully instant hot water again running from diesel do all the jazzy stuff share like subscribe blah de blah and uh, i'll see you on the next one cheers